What is audio popping and how do you prevent it? To start with, let's take a listen to what we're talking about. There's a pop at the beginning of that tone. Let's listen to it one more time. Before we talk about how to minimize pops like this, let's dig deeper into why audio popping occurs in the first place. First, audio clips are comprised of samples that form the shape of a wave. If a sample beginning or end doesn't correspond to a zero crossing, this can cause pops or click sounds when playing the audio file. The zero crossing is a horizontal line in a waveform where the waveform has an amplitude of zero dB. We've used tone in our example because it's easier to illustrate the concept with a simple, single frequency sine wave. Your mileage will vary depending on the nature of the audio that you're working with, whether it's music, narration, or sound effects. But the concept is still the same. We can see the beginning of this clip starts at the top of the wave cycle, which caused us to hear this. This clip here, however, we cut right at the zero crossing. Let's hear how this one sounds. There's almost no audible pop. When we play them back to back, the difference is very easy to hear. Now, we've used dedicated audio software here for demonstration purposes, in this case, Adobe Audition. It might be cumbersome to make these kinds of micro adjustments in your nonlinear editing system. And frankly, audio mixers often don't want to do it either. Fortunately, there's an easier way. Applying a short linear fade in and out can minimize the pops by smoothing the transition from silence to the start of the sound and vice versa. Many dedicated audio programs have a preference to add these short fades automatically built right into the software. Nonlinear editing systems, however, generally don't have an automatic option, but almost all of them do have a quick way to apply audio fades and dissolves. Usually, you want these dissolves to be pretty short, either one or two frames in duration. Most software also has some sort of method of applying many dissolves simultaneously to speed up the process. Now, there's another scenario where audio popping occurs where this method might come in handy. If you've had to cobble or frankenbite a modified line of dialogue, and then you need to smooth out the resulting choppiness. A frankenbite is when you've edited two or more sound bites together to fix grammar or to change or clarify the meaning of a sentence. For example, you might start with these lines. They will want what's inside Litvenko's head. Who you are, DNA. But with a bit of fancy editing, you could frankenbite dialogue that says something quite different, like this. They want what's inside our DNA. The problem is, cutting that up to produce the sentence that you want can often generate some choppy audio edits and pops. Listen again. They want what's inside our DNA. So lots of popping and pretty sloppy. By adding short audio dissolves, this choppiness can be minimized. They want what's inside our DNA. Nice, that's much smoother and quite a bit more natural sounding. The differences can be subtle, but the technique is so quick that it's almost always worth doing. So remember, use audio dissolves on the edge of your audio clips to smoothly fade in and out of sound effects, dialogue, room tone, music, etc. Do it even if you only have the space to apply a one or two frame dissolve after a word is spoken. These dissolves will smooth out your audio mix and prevent annoying and unprofessional audio popping. Hey there, for tons more free editing training, head over to our website at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. Here you can download free editing guides along with high quality video training courses created by our team of professional Hollywood editors. Our tutorials cover a wide range of editing topics, like cutting awesome movie trailers, editing action scenes, how to work with music and sound design, and a lot more. All of these free guides and videos are available at filmeditingpro.com slash free training. I'll see you next time.